Colours of the world, dream up your life. Every boy, every girl, dream up your life. People of the world, dream up your life. Ah. Hello, today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make your own face moisturiser using Shea or Shea fractionated coconut oil. A herb oil golden and for anti-aging properties I am using frankincense and lavender so I essential oils so I will just talk you through the benefits of frankincense and lavender or some essential oils frankincense was referred to the king of oils as it has so many benefits so I'll just read because my memory's not that great. So I'm using frankincense essential oil um, as it's got great anti-aging properties. It's also known as the king of oils because it is so got so many different benefits. And in addition for its, to its anti-aging, it's good for sunburn, rosacea or breakouts. So there you go. And then lavender, again, lavender from memory is a good antiseptic. I would use it on my dog if she has any sort of skin infections or anything and lavender you can use it in a carrier oil but you can actually I think it's the only essential oil you can use neat and um, all the other essential oils you do have to mix with the carrier oil but lavender is gentle enough so it can be used on the skin or it doesn't burn the skin put it that way. Inflammation lessens pain and cleans the surface of the skin you can use this on your face, legs and arms. Okay, it says if you experience any side effects from using the oil, such as a skin rash, stop use and talk with a doctor. So my understanding is it's the gentlest of the essential oils, but all essential oils can irritate your skin. I remember hearing a while back that you have to be careful with animals because some, animal, some essential oils aren't great on animals. So that even though it's homeopathic, it is very strong and it can cause irritation. So ideally to make your DIY face moisturiser, you'd use a glass bowl and some water, so like a bain-marie. The bowl is currently in the dishwasher, so I'm using a glass jug, which from previous experience doesn't heat as quickly, quickly as the bowl, but it does do the job, so here we go. So first thing is half a cup of shea butter. And that, to that you add a tablespoon of Ahoba golden oil. And a tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. Okay, so I've taken the jug off the heat to cool set. And now I'm just going to add the essential oils. So you need to use 15 drops of essential oils in total. So I'm going to put five drops of lavender because I'm not that keen on the smell of lavender. Basically, it's quite an overpowering smell. And um, the essential oils lavender is anyway. And 10 drops of frankincense. Out of the drop of frankincense very easily, so I'm going to pour it, which I wouldn't recommend, but hello. So I have completed the base moisturizer because it's quite hot and seasonally warm in the UK at the moment, which is where I live. It didn't set straight away, so I finished it off in the fridge. So if you're somewhere hot and you wanted to do this, I'd recommend setting it in the fridge, but then it should, it'll stay set. It's not like coconut oil, which just gets melted when the weather's a bit hot. So that's what it looks like anyway, and I'm quite oily, quite um, soft. And I'll just, just rub it into my hands as a moisturiser rather than put it on my face at the moment. So. There you go. A face moisturiser. Hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.